Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. It starts with d4. Bishop on f4. Opponent is playing fast. Okay. e3. Knight comes on f3. Defending the pawn as well. If he wants to real exchange. Um, I'll take with the bishop. Bishop is a bad piece. Uh, for white, that's square bishop. Light square is the more active one, so I'll try to keep that on the board. Okay, uh, I'm just wondering why is he inviting troubles? But yeah, it's okay, his choice. I'll take this and give a check as well. Developing the knight. Preparing to castle. Queen is in front of the rook, so I think this should be nice. Ah, that was a nice move by the opponent. Okay, how do we get out of it? Uh, uh, there has to be some something here. Probably not. Should I be a bit careful with this? Queen here doesn't work. Okay, let's go here for now. I'll take this. Uh, can tell of the bishop. Always eyeing the right angle. Go on with my knight back or till up the bishop here. Let's play pawn forward just to retrieval square for the bishop as well in case he wishes to play this. If this I can take, takes, takes, exchange happens of the queen and then I move sideways. Sees that. Bishop comes back. Okay, I need to use my pieces better. Pawn forward loses it. I'll just play this first. Okay, this makes sure that when the pawn is guarded. can go here. He'll try to give a discovered attack to my queen and I can take this pawn and give a check. That's what the plan is. If not, I can give a check and then also take this or directly take the pawn. If he doesn't move the knight, of course I can't. I have to play this some point of time but this loses on the spot because I don't have connected rooks. I lost my rook. Okay. That was a nice move, I must say. I'll do a check for now. I think pawn forward so then I can put my knight to more active square. Discover attack on the queen. I'll go here because I want to defend this. I want to defend knight coming here, so everything is guarded. Um, I have to go here itself. This works, I doubt. Oh, it does actually. This works. Knight here, I take. He takes with the pawn. I cannot take, so I have to move it forward. That saves. 
Okay, what have we got? Shall I play this? I have to take this first. We go on with the knight trying to defend this as well some point of time. Rook gets some activity trying to reinforce my pieces in center. Pawn forward is still one option. Okay, this is some trouble. Which can be saved. This attacks the queen, defends b3. And in fact, now pins my knight. I can play pawn forward defending the knight always. Oh, I should have taken the rook. Damn it. I can still do. I can still do. Um, let's do this first now. Check. Okay. Pawn forward saves everything. Or I can take the pawn as well. Why not take it? Let's take it. We are back in the game, big time, rook up, lots of pawns, got an extra knight, so attacking the pawn now, just need to finish this game properly now. I'll play pawn forward. No, uh, that's okay. Yeah. The idea is he takes the pawn, yes, but I give a check from the diagonal. Get my rook active. I have to make sure that there's no last rank weakness. That is it, probably. I can go on with my knight as a check. Where does the opponent go? Because my queen is coming now downtown. It's still coming. Check. Um, check. That could be made. Yep. Over. That's why you should not resign when you are piece down or pawn down or any any change down. That was a comeback win like anything. See, both the players are similar rated. If I do a mistake, even he's bound to do one at some point time or the other. Let's analyze the game quickly once uh, from computer perspective and see how it went. Side off with d4, uh, I responded with d, uh, he responds with d5. I play bishop f4, knight c6 by the opponent, e3, solidifying my center. Uh, then pushing the knight in between. Here the opponent tries to offer an exchange, which I do. So he loses a pawn in this exchange. Computer seems to take with the knight and exchange knights, but I wanted to keep my knight on the board. Um, then I went ahead, trying to take on the bishop as well then, which is the right move, he takes back. I give a check with the queen and then get dealt up my bishop. No, I dealt up the knight first. This was bad. Uh, I just castled in a hurry, just trying to put my uh, rook in front of the queen uh, so that it's always nice. I can probably take some pawn as well, force a pawn break, asking him to take, give him the knight as well if he wants to, but attack his queen. Uh, but I missed the part that his bishop is standing there, his knight is there, so g g4 is pretty really strong for the opponent. Either I should have played h3 first, trying to defend that, or play by queen or above. But here I did a blunder, which gave him a really, very good chance in the game back. He took my rook, I take back with the knight. As you see now, black is ahead in the game, where white had got initial advantage. I lost that advantage and turned it into a disadvantage, if, if, in fact. And here, uh, open starts pushing the center pawns. I go with c3, computer saying go with the knight instead. Uh, he pushes my bishop back, I go back, yeah, that was the whole plan for playing c3 as well so that I have a retrieval square for my bishop. Uh, here again, uh, I played h3 now, trying to defend the knight, also maybe some point of time playing g4. 
Here, opponent comes to a5 uh, with the queen, and I play b1, the only move to defend the pawn. Uh, otherwise, it's very weakening. Here, he plays the rook to f8. I try to navigate my queen somewhere to d6 this time. He attacks the queen. I give a check and just move around. Then playing f3. Uh, yes, it's passive, but I'm actually looking forward to play this uh, g4. Here, opponent comes in with knight to e4. Uh, I cannot take the knight, of course, because my queen is under the attack. I have to safeguard the queen. I get it on e5, the right move. Uh, and as you see, uh, opponent has started pushing, uh, making some weaknesses by himself. Uh, here I played bad. I had to go to uh, c1 uh, instead, attacking his knight. And his knight is literally trapped and nowhere to be gone. So I could have taken the knight there, uh, just seeing that. But I went to the other side of the board. Uh, my worry was if I uh, go here, queen enters biting the pawn. But that's not a problem because I get to take the knight. Uh, and now the queen is also very inactive there. Cannot take the pawn, of course, because knight is guarding it. This I missed in the game. Uh, so here I went to a1. Opponent can take with the queen. That's insane. And give the queen sacrifice. Oh, yeah, rook. And that's just mate in one now. Only bishop can come in between. And that's mate. That's the advantage of having pawns uh, controlling the important squares. Uh, so, yeah, of course, of course, that was very tough to be seen, I, I would say. Uh, only some 2,500 players would have seen that coming. Uh, I took on the pawn. Uh, he takes the pawn as well. I go on with my knight to c3, the right move. Uh, here I take on uh, the pawn first, attacking the queen. Queen goes here uh, on a5. And yes, I just after placing the pawn, I realized that, oh, I sh shit, man. That was mate in two because after I take, uh, king cannot go here because bishop is already eyeing this beautiful diagonal. So only queen can come in between and that's mate in one from there. So he missed mate in three, I missed mate in two. Something wrong with this game completely. He gives away the knight, I take, uh, he takes back. And now I take with the queen, giving him a check and then taking the pawn as well. And then just trying to make sure that uh, I'm just... On to the opponent here, not giving space, mate in two from here, finding the right moves at the end finally. So yeah, eventually a good game, but both the players missed mate in between. That's how chess goes like, uh, you don't expect everyone to see every move. And that's what happened in this game as well. So just hang in there and try to put the best shot from next move onwards. Uh, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. And let me know if something else has to be covered as a topic, as an opening, as a trap that you want me to cover and probably help explaining or uh, just trying to evaluate how things go with that. I hope you liked it. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.